Hello, and before, ah, uh, why did I start like that? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Let's just all take a deep breath together. <sighs> Calm and center ourselves before I start this video. I hope this one lands with some people. I want to talk about the law of attraction, the power of manifesting, because I do have some mixed emotions about it, and I'm sure you may have as well. So I've read The Secret, I think everyone has, um, I'm sure, or most people have. Uh, I've also watched the movie. Um, I've watched a lot of Bob Proctor's YouTube videos. He's also a big proponent, well, shame, rest in peace, he has passed away. But he's a big proponent of the law of attraction and... <sighs> Some parts of it I resonate with and other parts I find just kind of weird, to be honest. Um, it's too simplistic in my view, that's what I'm trying to say. And yes, I do believe that a positive mind resonates on a certain level, it's hard to explain. Ah, these eyelashes stick to the bottom ones. <laughs> it's it's hard to explain, but I do believe your positive mind, your positive energy does resonate on a certain frequency and you do attract like-minded people. I mean, obviously, duh. If I'm putting out certain content, only people with a similar mindset are going to find what I say um, useful or be attracted to that kind of thing. So, obviously, there's there's that like... I suppose similar vibrations um, but where I have a problem is like with this law of attraction thing when something goes quote unquote wrong or you don't get the thing you wanted then what how does that explain like the pandemic for example the global pandemic where I bet everyone had put on their vision boards for uh, 2020 they'd all put these grand visions um, of things that they wanted to manifest and attract trips overseas and whatever and bam the whole world shuts down like now what and other questions well who manifested the pandemic was it all of us together is it collective um, manifesting consciousness these are things that for me don't have an answer and like obviously death when death happens in your close circle how do we explain that in terms of the law of attraction um i, I don't think it's as simple as you get what you put out there is something more to life there's something more to being on this planet, there's, there's something more. It's not as simplistic as, okay, I want a BMW. I want a BMW. I put it on. I put pictures. I imagine it. I, maybe I stick the logo on my car or whatever and, and imagine the car. My little basic car is now, you know, BMW. Yes, you, you can. I'm not saying that that doesn't work. I've heard many stories where people have put it out there and they've gotten the thing that they wanted. But when you go back to like more Zen philosophies and Buddhist stuff, you get more of a philosophy of just accepting what is with grace and humility and humbleness. Now, I do, I, I don't really know what exactly I agree with. I would love to hear your thoughts as well, but I do like that philosophy of acceptance. I was reading P P Pima, Pima Chodron's book, Things Fall Apart. Beautiful book, and it's got some lines that are just, whoa, they are amazing, great. Um, some of the lines, like one of them, she says, I think she's, she suggests we stick it on our fridges, or she stuck it on her fridge door. Um, abandon hope, which means if you give up this constant trying to change or expecting the world to change, I think that's it. I think that was the concept more. 
Don't expect things to be other than what they are. And yet she's not saying don't try and, and aim for change. Don't she's, She is saying by working on your inner self and by being peace-loving, peaceful, you are changing the world because, and I love this, because you as a calm, meditative, peaceful soul are no longer adding violence into the world. And I love that. Imagine every single human who is peaceful, peace-loving, um, what is the word? Not spiritual, but balanced, sane. <laughs> every person collectively together who is that way, we build up a force in the world. And that is why I do persevere with this channel, even though sometimes it, I've said it before, sometimes I feel like it's just not getting viewed and what is the point? And then other times, like today, I really feel there is a point. We need more sane voices on the internet. We need more calm, normal rational, loving, peaceful people. And I'm not saying I'm all of those things, certainly not all of the time, but we need people like that on the internet, just being calm, calm down people. <laughs> it's what I want to say, no drama, no bullshit. Sorry, I'm trying not to swear on my channel. Um, there's a channel I've been watching lately called Alex Talks. I'll link to it below. A-L-X. T-A-L-X. She's a makeup artist with a makeup artist channel. But this is more like her real life just talking stuff. And she was also saying like the internet. The, I think it's not so much the world that is crazy. But the internet especially seems quite insane at times. And it can be a toxic place. But... It can also be wonderful. It can also be amazing. There's stuff I found on YouTube, information and people and channels that are awesome, fantastic. They just give me hope and restore my faith in humanity. So, and there are, you can find all the Zen Buddhist stuff. You can find meditation, the Headspace channel, there's, there's really cool stuff. So I think when we get despondent, especially with social media, YouTube, the internet, screens, um, we need to step away, take a break. I've said that before. I think I will say it until I'm <laughs> in my grave. Um, so yeah, am I telling you not to watch my channel for a while? Probably, <laughs> but come back, yeah. Um, but I think, like I have gone off Instagram and I feel, like I've said, so much better, so much better. So I think we need to be the protectors of our mental health as well as our physical health. I talk a lot about the physical stuff on my channel, exercise, HRT, perimenopause. Yes, I talk about all that. Physical is very, very important to me. But so is the mental. And today, oh, look, somehow I went from <laughs> the law of attraction to mental health. But that's how we humans are. But I think what I'm trying to say and how I got here is this notion of you must just Put it on your vision board and obviously work for it but it's very it's almost selfish to me i think that is what i'm trying to say this law of attraction is me 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 get 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 want 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 and again nothing wrong with having dreams having goals wanting to better yourself in life there's nothing wrong with it but i think what's lacking is a sense of community in that and I'm not good on community. I tend to like to be on my own. I like my own space. I mean, look at me. I'm in a room on my own talking to my phone. Um, but I do, I like my own space. 
one second, my nose is running. Ooh. Um, so <laughs> I, but I think with the law of, ma of attraction, yes, I'm, I'm glad that it promotes positive thinking, but there's more to it. There's so much more to it. We, we will never understand the greatness that is the world, that is this universe. And I just, I don't know, there, there's something missing from that philosophy, if you want to call it a life philosophy. So I would be interested, very, very interested to hear your thoughts for real. And as you know, I do read all the comments. Um, yeah, I'm a small channel trying to grow. So I'm very interested in hearing what you guys think. I really, really am. I, I wish this were a podcast. I wish I had guests on. I wish I could discuss things. But for now, I'm just building up this channel. And so if you leave comments, that is my way of interacting with you, which would be awesome. So what do you guys think of the law of attraction? Ha has it worked for you? Interestingly, I would say there have been times when I do think it's worked for me. You know, you sort of put out something and it happens. And if I look at my life, I, I, I did, I don't know, manifest or create or attract the job that I always wanted. I wanted to make a living off my artwork. And yes, that video is coming, Nico Dutoy. Um, I do make a living off my art and I always wanted to be an artist. But again, is that the law of attraction or is it just simply, well, I studied graphic design um, for the reason that I wanted to be an illustrator. I put out my work, put out my portfolio, went for interviews and landed the job that I currently have. I mean, is that just not like it makes sense? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> so, I mean, I want to be an author, but that hasn't happened. But that's because I have never completed any book, manuscript or anything. Um, well, I am a writer. I'm on Medium. <laughs> you should check that out, my Medium profile. Um, so I am a writer, but I'm not, I haven't yet published a book. And yet I think about it a lot. So if you think about manifesting, that should have happened. But obviously, the law of attraction cannot work if you don't work. You need to put in the work. I would need to have a finished book product if I wanted to be a published author. Duh. I mean, obvious. So, yeah. But what I've realized for me, being busy as a mother, this format here, speaking to a camera on YouTube, is far more doable for me. So... Maybe also with um, manifesting your dreams, you've got to be flexible and allow your dreams to shift and be realistic and fit into your current life where you are, especially for people that have families. Honestly, it's, it's I don't want to say easy. I don't know what other people's lives are like, but I'm imagining it's easier to chase dreams when you are young single, without a child, without a spouse, without all those responsibilities. And when you have a family, a child, a partner, maybe you've got sick parents, maybe you're looking after a loved one, whatever the circumstances, sometimes there are circumstances that just dictate different things. And that's okay. I think there's also this there's this pervasive feeling I get when I listen to these things about, oh, I attracted this, I manifested that. It, there's a, I don't want to criticize, but because I, I do believe that there's some valid points to what they're saying, but it's almost like, look what I did. Look at me. I'm so, I'm a good manifester. I can attract. And then what if it all gets taken away? <laughs> so, I feel like, yes, we must keep a positive, hopeful, optimistic outlook, but also temper that with this calm, and I'm trying to do this, this sort of calmer sense of acceptance of things as they are and, and dealing with life as it is, which I battle with. I, I won't lie. <laughs> 
I do battle to just deal with life as it is sometimes. I get a little bit down, depressed, not depressed, but jaded, cynical, whatever, where I just want to hide. I just want to zone out, zen out. I just want to read. I just want to drown my self. I don't want to face reality. All the problems, all the work, all the things to do, all the whatevers. You know, sometimes you just want to watch some fluffy shit on TV or on YouTube and be done. <laughs> and believe that you can just manifest. Sometimes I think that's it. We like to think about it. We like to watch and think about the law of attraction because it seems very simple and easy. And we just like, oh, we, we love that. Of course we do. It's so much harder to go within and face the reality, face your demons, face your dark side, face sometimes even just your taxes. <laughs> The boring shit you have to do in the day cleaning so there we are i'm going to end this because it's going to get long and i hope to see you in my next video please share your thoughts bye